Reyes is as revolutionary as All right. Um like Hey, we're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption again. So uh let's put on the cowboy outfit again. And let's actually try and do story. I can't keep getting sidetracked. I did play around last night with the cheats, but I made sure that they're off and that autosave is on so I can get trophies. I just used the invincibility cheat so I could massacre people, but don't worry. I didn't do much. Also, I heard the game is easy with um, the aiming. There's expert aiming, apparently. I don't know what expert is, but people are saying that makes it more better or less easy. It probably just means free aim, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's look around. This place is clearly abandoned. It's probably in here. Deadly Assassin menu entry updated. We have to complete American Appetites. That's the side mission where the the woman and her son got taken. And complete Twin Rocks hideout. We'll do that later. Let's just go to Nigel. We can't keep spending. We can't keep wasting our time around here. I just I don't think I see anything worth of value. So let's see what's going on. He got a dead guy and an abandoned stage coach. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? He needs help being buried. That's what he needs. Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Oh, never mind. Excuse he me? needs help getting I up. Said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> yeah, the Move fat on, hasn't gone away. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker, whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> okay. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. So I'm that... finished. Don't so, um, just are we gonna... Straight, will you? Are we gonna ask him why he's just out here? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. Why does he have a health bar? Are we gonna get attacked? Uh-oh. Probably what sell stuff name, out friend? of this carriage. John oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one oh, day? Oh, he knows me. That made mistake with somebody else, friend. The father twin Walton's gang. I know who you are. Oh. That fool nearly shot. Me. Oh yeah, there's no auto oh, aim. Come back and finish me off. You know what, I'm a controller peasant, so I'm gonna use the normal. You got them all! Now get me to a doctor! For the love of God, stick to the road! No. Oh! Oh, he takes damage if we go off road. Okay, fine, we'll stay on the damn road. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give oh, so the? much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world. If I hold circle, it does like a cinematic camera. Still, it's like GTA. Good God, four of them. I can't stay on the road and shoot at the same time. What? 
I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Answer He's bleeding out anyways. He's gonna die. I can't work the horses too hard. He's literally about to bleed out. Come on. I embrace you. Oh crap. We're here. Stay with me. Jinx. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Well, that'll be a thousand dollars. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. So he sells elixirs. Okay, 25 fam. While you're waiting, you could further explore New Austin. Okay. Well, then maybe we should look for Twin Rocks. Where it is then? I don't see Twin Rocks. It probably doesn't have a name. After we do that, we'll have to just wait for American Appetites to be ready. And, yeah, after we do this, let's go talk to Bonnie McFarlane. You want some help there? I could really use a hand, friend. I'm way over my head here. Mm hmm Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. So what I've noticed... Actually, no. So it seems over here are the Bollard twins. And then over here are the Waltons. The Walton gang. Okay, let's let's get to shooting. Come on. Let's go. With these bodies, I need to recover some ammo and whatnot. A new weapon. Oh, a volcanic pistol. Okay. Play it smart, buddy, and get. Thank God. I played it smart, all right. Let's get you back home. So are these one-time things? Because I saw a trophy, you have to do, like, all of the gang hideouts in one in-game day. So they, they gotta be replayable, right? A pardon letter. Removes any accumulated bounty when turned in. So I could just kill a bunch of people, get like a thousand dollar bounty and use that for free? It's not like I'll try to. Come on. I should sell my stuff at the... at a store to get some money. I have quite a lot of stuff. Oh, Lord. This is nasty. And I don't exactly know if I can craft anything with it. Let's 
Let's go to the general store and see what I can buy or sell. This establishment welcomes you. Howdy. You know, if John's is elected governor, he's going to open the rail lines to Alinde. This place all town settlements and works. Oh. Alright, now I can at least be buy something. Next time I pass through. Let's see if there's anything worth buying. New Chola Springs. $30. Good. I got what I need. Okay. I was planning on buying a bandolier. That's what I've been wanting to actually get. How are you, friend? It's a bandolier. I wanna get pistol oh. ammo. Fifteen dollars for four bullets. I I literally did get robbed. Hey. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, Mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. I can't just, like, no, part the Red uh, Sea. I don't know. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but... We lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so... Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Proper tie? Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... Hmm. People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. Proper tie. <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, How right. does that help me? <laughs> oh god, I'm just now realizing I can see my bandolier. I look flashy. What do I do? Go. We'll visit that pleasant house um, later. Okay, what does Bonnie McFarlane want? Woman and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have oh, you, really? McFarlane. Yes, from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself. Um, Lee, those who? Are my plans. See. I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. Women you can't so understand such fancy Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Okay, bit of uh, Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm oh, married. Immediately went back to Miss McFarland. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. What? When did John have a daughter? That was never mentioned in the second game. Did he have a daughter between 1907 and 1911? We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but... TLDR. I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. 
I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Yeah. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. I understand how hard it is he to take care of well, someone. I, I don't know what he was. That's not right. So I was sent off to an Physically, orphanage. And mentally, ran away and fell in with a gang. My word, what a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. He taught me how to see all that was good in the world. But he didn't tell me how to swim. Man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure, and I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these problems. It's a never-ending cycle. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen. Can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. Money's complicated? I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure, point me in the right direction. I don't want to uh, herd cattle, Miss McFarlane. I've had my fair share in the second game. Alright, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Yeah. Giddy up! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. Well, they seem so to hate sure me. About that, but thank you. Control that horse, will ya? Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Okay. Let's go. Slow up. Okay, we gotta steer them. Should we get like dogs to do this, or is that just for sheep? Why can't you get someone else to do this? There's one cow that stands out. Like, uh, he just... Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go. The only way I can say without being cancelled is some of them... Most of them make milk, and the other one makes chocolate milk. Let's hear the herd right, move to the left side of the herd. Come on. When am I gonna get a lasso? I feel like the only way I can capture bounties alive is like with a lasso. Come on. He's just showing off now. There you go. Oh, now we gotta herd this massive... Oh my god, no, 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 no. Other way, other way. Other way. We got a, a lone one. You just pushed them away. Stop! 
Uh, okay. Come on, let's go. This is why we're called cowboys. This is what we do. There's a runner. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either well, that I can't. You were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Past lives. Could never hold me down. Sometimes the dreamers finally wake up. I've got the strangest feeling. This isn't our first time around. Um. Now let's do another mission for Bonnie. Yeah, what's this mission for Bonnie? How many Bonnie missions are there? I don't want to keep doing these. Come back after 3 p.m. Okay, it looks like... What time is it now? Um... It looks like it's past 3 p.m. It's, it's almost 3.05. Come on, let me in. No. Come on. It's past three. There. Wild horses tamed passions. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. Oh, I saw a lasso. Fine, thank you. How are you? Why does he I'm look fine, like a GTA 3 you. character? Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Ah. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. He looks like so, a bodybuilder. My daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've... When a man has a mustache like that, he's, he's a hospitable person. Lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. No, oh, I know what you mean by cholera. Very more of my children and I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. A parent should never have to see their children die, die. Under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. Was the federal government still like a foreign concept to people back then? At this point, America has been a country less than 200. It so baffles me how young America is when you look at all of history. Because when you say it, it, America is like. It's like 200 something years old. Oh, that's that's pretty old. Then you got very old countries. You're always going to be welcome. China. Well, you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. I'm not going out east Sneaking anymore. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Oh, yeah, I didn't on, even Bonnie, know this. Things to do. Mr. Marston, the only thing I noticed was us? that mustache. It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> I'm not a damn city dweller.
You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Ah, there we go. Our lasso. Right. Now it's on now our you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Hey, lasso. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally. Is there a mission replay option in this game? I don't think there is. My honor's honest Joe. My fame is still nobody. Hey, let's go, Drew. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret in sent you. Well, if you're wrong, I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just but enjoy the I know the we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Shut Sounds up, like Bonnie. Creep. The more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. What, like I cook? I argue with that, Miss McFarland. I'm sorry, don't cancel me, YouTube. That was just for comedic purposes. I don't need my intermediate features being taken. There they are! Beauties! Come on, Mr. Marston! Rope one! We'll bring him down together! Okay. What is that aim? You gonna use that rope or not? Well, uh I'm aiming. There. Mount your horse and get on the lasso for us. Okay, you gotta balance. I think oh shit. Okay. Uh. Let's go. I don't know which way to balance. Yeah, I am. I am. Clear arms, Marley. That's it. Balance, 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 balance. I think I gotta balance the way that he's the opposite. He's facing, or the way he. I'm flailing my arms. Come on, stop, stop. Don't make me fall again. How long do I gotta do this? Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Mount up, Marston. You leave this one to me. Uh, okay. I think that's an effectivity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. What? We gotta get another one for Bonnie. I'm not sure if I can do this again. Down now. Okay, come on, come on. Nearly there. This tree is not doing me any favors. Almost got Easy. There we go. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Hold on. I'm back. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's oh yeah, no straight matters. Sleep. After an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy a joker, Mr. McFarland. Let's go. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Weston Broncos? 
That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. What these bankers and Tommy doing is not a peaceful oh, line oh. of work. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Ah. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No. Why can't we be done? Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Come on. Come on. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. Careful. You almost knocked me clean off. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised. You ask me a lot. All. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No. That's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. Your tramp. never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In what way could that be taken as an insult? Yeah. Anyways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Yeah, I got to call you Bonnie instead of Miss McFarland. But you get to call me Mr. Marston. That's yeah. not fair. This isn't what Whoa. I meant by horse breaking. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Not exactly guiding. Come on. Let's go. Stay together. And not, no harm will befall you. No being strangled by a rope and being jumped on. None of it. Where did Bonnie and the others go? No, no, you you gotta go in. Are you in? Are you in? Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are! Hey, the stallion's getting away! Chase uh, oh, I accidentally just skipped the cutscene. I'm sorry. Can I keep the stallion? Come here. He's fast. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's stop the horse. Okay. Press and hold R1. It's not doing anything. We're just holding on to its mane. Come on. Come on. There. 
Can I call this horse mine? Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? Huh. As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Getting some good honor. So, Kentucky Saddler, a rare and agile horse. So, need help? Hey, you, stop! No, they killed him! Again! Ah! Oh, stay down! Okay. Yeah, you know you're gonna die, right? Oh god damn it. How am I gonna get in there without starting this? Oh no! This is from Marshall Johnson. Okay. Ah, What's going on? That you're here, you wanna make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? I've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. Uh. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? Sure. All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Should I be buying more weapons? Is this the era of hey, Rockstar where they have quirky characters like that? He's like... He's like the fat dude from Bully. Let's try out our pistol. Alright, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. Yeah. I did. For a man who claimed to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. Yeah, I don't he's think he's a scientist. A he's just a salesman of I the science. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Hey, Marshall, see those vultures? So I this is where they burnt the place you down. Go check it out. Let's go. I just realized I'm not on my Kentucky Saddler horse. Dead horses. Ain't no Saddlers. Here, what gang is, did this? Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. Ooh, is that a new thing? Winchester. Wow. And to think, I was literally just thinking. Maybe I should buy it from the store. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Living born, young, wild, and free. At least that's how I see it. Oh, there's more smoke over there. Vultures. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's So Walton's boys are just a gang. 
and then the the baller twins are rustlers. I can see more vultures up ahead. God damn it. So the Walton gang, they all wear like hats with red ribbons, and I think the baller twins they wear like red Come bandanas on, on their neck. More dead. Just kill they're just going around killing fun. random campers. Must still be Come on. Yeah, good point, John. They must still be around. Come on. Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. That's the farm That's that they bitch. burnt down, didn't they? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's oh. never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? This is too quiet. I got a bad ambush about this. Let's search the area. Shed's clear, Marshal. Go check the outhouse for some reason. And not the main building. And there's blood everywhere. There might be someone. No one here! Nope. Board it up. Would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. You see two dead bodies on the moon. Oh god. Oh, they're naked. Holy sweet mother of mercy. That's a naked please, woman. Please don't that makes me. things better. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Alright, boys. We need to get into that house right now. Oh no, that's a guy. Never mind. Okay. Let's go! Let's get into a big shootout. Bullet drop is kind of weird. Yeah, this pistol is pretty good. Ah! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! Ah! Oh crap. Bastard! Me. Captain. Yeah, stay down. No! Repeater. Come on. Where are you sons of bitches want? You and me gonna have ourselves. Huh. Oh! Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. Are you kidding? Ah! There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run oh for it God. when it's clear. They did unspeakable Gotta things. Gotta make sure he's dead. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Uh. Screw you. you 
Let's search these bodies. See what we can find. I doubt you'll be needing this. Yeah, I'm able to carry a bunch more repeater ammo now. This bandolier. Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You fucking men. You ain't nothing. Okay, we shouldn't have saved you. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? We don't know you anything. Up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. Oh. About the money, Marshal. Oh. These are people's lives, people's homes. <laughs> What do you want us to do? Let's go! Get on your horse! If you were just smart enough to make a phone, you wouldn't have to worry about this. You just call the cops. Come on. Women. What? Really? All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. A train? Come on, Marshal. Oh. This might be our chance. This might be our Yo, chance to get Bill. Anyway, Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. I mean, you see him. a lifetime ago. The bear in mind. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, Joe. There is Bill. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself you down eat babies. Here, you know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Uh oh. Everybody, take cover! They're missing all their shots. It's Mercer Station. Just killed that horse. Move! They just a Wilhelm scream. The bullet drop. Oh. Camera shake is insane when you're in dead eye. You want more? You fellas should have stayed at home. Hey, look what I got here. Uh, <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. I hope he dies. Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. Norman Deke? Fuck! Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. I got a lasso. $50. He wasn't lying, but it's really spring. Assistant townsfolk. Two hundred fifty fame. I'm a greenhorn now. Two hundred. Help me! 
down. Ah, I look 50. Same. Walton's gang outfit menu. The fan residents of Charlotte Springs from one thing. Okay. It's starting to get somewhere. It's sad, some of these dead bodies aren't gang members. We weren't able to save all of them. Hey. <laughs> Who are you? You okay, lady? <laughs> My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. Wait, what? Is that the same woman? The first mission, she was crying about her child being missing, and then the guy was crying about the wife being missing, and now we're back to the wife? Or is this a whole different family? Or are these all different but families? he's a good man. He don't drink, nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh my god. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money, and I'm with a family wagon. As I said, I'll She's do what pregnant? I can. <laughs> it's called American Appetites, which makes me think it might be a cannibal. At the same time, I feel like it might just be an animal. By right, hanging rock, hanging rock again. Oh, the scrap is here. That means this is probably the last mission of American Appetites. Finally. I'm starting to get tired of going to that hanging rock just to find some blood and a limb. Oh my god, I didn't... I didn't mean to. I don't know what I did. I think I hit someone with my horse. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Come on, come on. It's only $5, I'll so just pay it once I get back into town. I'm not gonna use my pardon leather because... Which seems like a waste, just a $5 bounty. Okay. Feeling I might fight. Oh, hey. You gotta help me, mister. Oh, 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 mister. Mister. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. A cannibal. When? Unless this just guy's now. a cannibal. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Why is he lap? Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Catch your assailant and bring him back. Hey. Take me back to that man. Please. I'll do anything. Oh no. Maybe that this injured man is, is a, a cannibal. <laughs> but he has blood on him too, by his mouth. This guy is pr might be a cannibal. Oh god. Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! 
Huh? Hey, fella. Huh? <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. Oh, it is a cannibal. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. <laughs> oh, shit. Um. Save me from this freak, please. Please. No, no. <laughs> Why are we not doing anything? This grizzly fair kill the cannibal. That serves him right. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Let's look at this. Ah, change outfits in camp. You're the most badass gunslinger in the West. Did I regenerate twice as fast? Hold still, or I might stab you by accident. Okay, let's set up a camp and change outfits. Oh, damn, we look cool. Let's sleep and see how we look. Cool. Let's go into the sun and see. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Okay. I'm gonna leave this episode here. And, uh... Yeah, this, just, this game keeps getting better and better. I'll see you all in the next video.